Hey peeps, Raven Sky 23 here, and it's going to be a very weird kind of vlog, I think, because the parking lot I'm in is completely full, so there's going to be probably a lot of people milling about, and of course we're always looking for the cops. Fits of paranoia. <laughs> anyway, some several things I want to talk about today. First of all, tomorrow is Mother's Day. I don't know when this video will get posted, but tomorrow is Mother's Day. And I used to have a sensitivity about Mother's Day. And what I mean by that is um, different times in my life I've had a hard time um, with people wishing me Happy Mother's Day. One of them was because my kids were little when I got a divorce and um, the way the custody thing worked out, oftentimes I didn't have the kids around. They were with my ex-husband. So the problem with that is, you know, like Mother's Day seemed to be one of those days I wouldn't get them. I know that's weird, but anyway, so people would say Happy Mother's Day and I would like start crying, you know, not good. Yeah, but there's all kinds of reasons that people should be sensitive to people about Mother's Day. And so one of the other reasons is like, you know, maybe somebody has tried to have children and they can't. Um, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of reasons not to wish people Happy Mother's Day. Okay, first of all, you don't know if they're a mother or not. Um, or if they've lost a child, whatever. Well, anyway, to make a long story short, um, because I have lost a child, you'd think I would be more sensitive to this and because of the things I've gone through. And I have been, but um, I don't know. Today, here it is, Saturday, I was at work, um, work at a bank on Saturdays, manager. Anyway, so here I am at the bank, talking to somebody on the phone. Now I know, now, <laughs> immediately afterwards, I remembered that her son had committed suicide. Uh, it's been five years or so now, and I really liked her son. He was a good, not a good friend of mine, but just a really good kid. And uh, anyway, so I guess I always had a place in my heart for that because I too had lost a son to suicide. So anyway, long story short, I'm talking to her on the phone, and just flippantly at the end of the conversation, I was like, you know, have a good weekend. Happy Mother's Day. So then, you know, we, we just hung up right after that. I, but immediately I was just filled with this, oh my God, feeling, you know, don't you hate that? And really I meant nothing cruel or anything by it, and hopefully she um, will understand that. And I can't remember if she has other kids or not. Then it would be okay. I don't know. Anyway, so just be careful who you say Happy Mother's Day to. Learn from my um, faux pas. Anyway, um, so that was one thing, one comment. I was going to show you a couple an interesting side of Raven Sky. I read Entertainment Weekly the other day. Well, I'm not going to read these two for you. Well, maybe a little. But uh, I, two of my magazines came in the mail today, and I was like, woohoo, you know, new magazines come. So we'll just reveal a little about what I'm like. Wild Fibers. Doesn't that just bring all kinds of images of... Um, stalking the wild hickory nut, uh, no, of, uh, you know, eating a bran muffin or something while at a disco, I don't know. Anyway, Wild Fibers, no, what it is, it's a magazine, let's see, do they have a catch-all phrase on here? You know, it's a magazine for people who um, are interested in the fiber that animals produce, you know, see, this is a kind of a goat mohair issue, sorry. Like here, anybody know? I don't even can't even don't even know how to pronounce that. But this type of uh, um, yarn is just valued by one of the highest yarns in the in the world. Um, but basically, it comes from uh, musk ox musk musk oxen. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, different types of fibers. There's uh in different cultures, there's articles in here about different cultures and how they use animals for fiber and what they create with those things. You know, I mean, it's it's fascinating, fascinating to me. And this this is an article on it's called Splitting Hairs, and it's a tale of how German Angora rabbits leapt their way into India and become and became spun into the local culture. Can we have any more euphemisms there? But anyway, fascinating. Um, this magazine's put out by a wonderful woman who started this all on her own. Um, her name is Linda Courtwright. She's the publisher and the editor. She's a really a sweetheart. Can you see her? Um, she goes to all the sheep and wool festivals. And uh, look at the Tibetan yak. Now how cute is that? 
So see, I am going through this a little bit with you, but you know, this is for people who spin yarn. Oops, see, spinning wheels. Um, um, there's an article in here on the Falkland Islands, and here's an interesting little tidbit for you. You may have known this, but that the Falkland Islands are home to 650,000 sheep and only 3,000 humans. Look at and, and some penguins. Um, there's the mi the migration of the rock hopper penguins, which would be really cool. I love penguins. Um, anyway, that's basically this magazine. It's it's all just jam packed with wonderful pictures of little cute little animals <laughs> and not so cute, but all fiber producing animals. Anyway, so that's one of my publications that I would magazines I would never stop stop subscribing to, and this is another one. This is see this but um. Yeah, I can say that upside down here. Um, shuttle, spindle, and die pot. So shuttle, spindle, and die pot, which is put out every year by the hand, or put out four times a year by the Hand Weavers Guild of America. And so I'm a member of the Hand Weavers Guild of America, and that's how I get these things. And this is for weavers, but it's weavers that in all kinds of mediums, there's weavers in basketry, which I've done too. I used to do weaving in baskets. Um, there's an article in here on quilting. I mean, it get, they get a little off the off the thing. This is about the new International Quilt Study Center Museum in um, Lincoln, Nebraska. Yep. University of Nebraska at Lincoln. I think that's fascinating, <laughs> but you probably don't. Anyway, it's basically an, a magazine about different kinds of weaving, and you know, I love to weave. And I can't wait till our house is finally finished and we can get in there and I can set my loom up and get weaving. See, oh, there's this awesome article in here on basketry. Look at, look at, see, this isn't just basketry. Like, this is awesome. Can you see that? I don't know. I hope so. Anyway, so that's shuttle, spindle, and dye pot. There's also articles about dyeing, um, not you know, as I lay dying, but dying wool and dying different kinds of fibers so you can make beautiful colored things. You know, this is just yarn that was dyed, not by me, but you did make this. Oh, this is Knit Picks. Anybody that knits should go to Knit Picks. Um, what happened is I finished, finished the project I was working on, the shawl, and uh, which I will show you a little bit later because I'll put it on and show you. Anyway, um, hold me to that because I'll forget. So now I'm trying to come up with the next knitting project. I know I have to go back to my sweater, but it's starting to get warm and I have a feeling that I'm not gonna get to the sweater until like only on cold days, but that's a cop out. So I'm really wrestling internally with this, but I also, we're going back in, in June, here we're gonna go to my mom's back in Iowa for her 85th birthday. Yeah, we're going to meet a couple of YouTubers while we're there. We're going to, uh, on the way there, stop and see some friends, even Jill. And that ought to be fun. So we're just kind of finalizing arrangements on that. i um, going to take a little bit of a different route going back to Iowa. This time we're going to take the ferry across from, I think it's in Manitowoc, um, Michigan. And it goes across Lake, Lake Michigan into um, Wisconsin because we're going to go to my brothers in Minnesota first. Anyway, that'll be next month. So, um, I want to have a project that I can knit in the car while we're driving. So I want to make sure I save like a wonderful thing to do that with. That, that might not be a bad idea for the sweater because the sweater is kind of, I know it looks complicated, but it's kind of mindless knitting because you're just knitting around, 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 around. You know, there's, you got to keep count in different places and stuff. So maybe I'll do that because I do want to take that sweater back and show my mom what I'm doing because it'll freak her out. She won't know how I'm doing it. It may be beyond her because <clears throat> she's not a crafty person, my mom. And she's 85. God love her. Give her a break. Uh, anyway, oh, another thing I wanted to show you. Um, oh, first of all, <laughs> I wanted to say that I've been posting Colin Malloy songs and you guys, I'm trying to space them in between my other ones. And if it's not your thing and you don't want to watch it, just don't watch it. I just, you know, I feel that way about all my videos. If you like see something and it says knitting in the title, well, I would say don't, don't discount it from that because I rarely make, unless I'm doing a technique, I rarely make a completely knitting video. So there's always some kind of little tidbit you may find in there well, or not. So, what was I going to say about that? Hmm. 
anyway, go ahead and don't watch my videos if it's something you know you don't like. Like if you like, oh my God, the Decemberists, he's, you know, I hate those people. Um, Colin Malloy, he sucks. So if you feel that way, please don't watch them. Or yeah, anyway, thanks. Talk to you guys later.